Well, hello, friends. Wolfgore here, aka Eric Bonet, coming at you with another vlog. And uh, yeah, we talked recently about me writing a book, and uh, the last update I gave was hey, I'm gonna spend six weeks pursuing this writing thing, see what shakes out, and we're gonna go from there. Um, but as it turns out, I didn't need six weeks. I know where I'm at, so where am I at? Well, in terms of writing the book itself, I'd say I've been working on it for about a month now. About a month ago, I started world building and writing down notes. As of today, I am on chapter eight. If you include the 10 pages of world notes, I've got about 50 pages written and they're all relatively edited. Uh, definitely not the final draft. You know, I'm gonna be continuously going through and, and reworking and massaging the pages to make the grammar better and make sure, you know, everything is cohesive and good and makes sense. Uh, but yeah, we're making real progress. My minimal hope was that I could do a page a day and I've probably been doing more like two pages a day on average. And I think I'm getting better as I'm getting into this flow, into this rhythm of writing, because it's all quite new to me. So I'm very hopeful for my ability to actually produce enough content, if you will, to make this book and the subsequent six books actually happen. And I'm very, very excited about it. And let's talk a little bit more about that. And to talk more about that, I think where we need to start is with passion. What is a passion? Well, I think I finally know what a passion is. I thought I knew what a passion was prior to starting this book, uh, but I think I was wrong. Um, and to an extent, I knew. Like we all, we all hear the word, we understand what a passion is. And I did experience a degree of passion with you know various aspects of my life. But writing this book has put into perspective every aspect of my life. And just to tell you a brief story, last, I think it was last Saturday. Uh, uh, last Saturday, I was writing for the evening and I got to the end of chapter six and without giving any spoilers, let's just say our character meets another character who's driving a bus that he is about to ride on. And for <laughs> reasons that I won't fully get into for the sake of spoilers, um, when that character's dialogue started, I started to cry. And I am not a, a weepy type. Uh, I'm not generally consider. I would I would generally not consider myself an overly emotional type. Like I do not cry often. Maybe once or twice a year, when something really, really, really gets me in the feels. And this was very strange for me. But these were not tears of sadness. These were not tears of of anger or grief or sorrow. These were tears of happiness. And when I was writing this character's dialogue, the back and forth between the main character and the bus driver, something clicked for me. And I realized in that moment that not only is this something that I'm passionate about doing, but it feels like I finally got my ticket to Hogwarts or my acceptance letter to Hogwarts. You know, growing up, I I dealt with some difficult stuff. You know, a lot of people have it a lot worse than I did, but I did deal with, you know, poverty, divorce, uh, depression, anxiety. You know, the there's more things on that list, but that's not the point. Um, Harry Potter, you know, for me as an 11 year old, when I first started reading it, was an escape from reality. I could, and I read those books religiously for years. I have read each Harry Potter book on average, probably 20 to 30 times. And the vast majority of that was from my teenage years. And I would just read them over and over again and listen to the audiobooks over and over again, um, just because it was an escape from reality and I needed that. 
But the thing that always kind of broke my heart was that, yeah, I could escape through these books, but I never got my acceptance letter to Hogwarts. I never got to escape, you know, from the cruel realities of the world, AKA the Dursleys and the, the mundality of everything and, and just living with constant poverty and all that kind of stuff. I never got to escape that. And that always kind of broke my heart and stuck with me. But when I was writing this scene, something really clicked in my head and it was a very full-blown epiphany moment in my life where I realized this is, this is my acceptance letter to Hogwarts. I can write this book. I can write this series essentially whenever I want, you know, with some obvious limitations, like I have a job and I have to sleep and stuff. But I can write this book and go to another world that I'm creating and develop these characters and potentially even someday have, create this world for young kids and teenagers and even adults who are in you know, a tough situation like I was back then and give them a place to escape to. And realizing that was just life-changing. It was life-changing. And this whole book writing process has really, really been massively impactful on my mind and my life and my feelings and just every aspect of my life you can imagine is changing drastically day by day as I progress forward on this path of writing this book. And it's, it's all I want to do. It's all I want to do. I want it to be my career. I want writing to be my life. And I don't think I need six weeks to figure that out. You know, I, I already suspected it from the day I started. But in that moment when I was finishing chapter six, I knew this is my passion. And I am so unbelievably grateful to the universe or God or nature or Mother Earth or whatever, whatever it is that allowed me to come to this point in my life where I'm writing this book and I get to feel this way and do this incredible thing. I am so grateful. So all of that being said, where does that leave us now? Well, uh, some of you might have noticed that the channel looks a little bit different. I have come to the decision just before recording this video, the morning of, today that I just need a fresh start. And I've been thinking about this for weeks. I've been thinking about moving to Malaysia for, let's just say a year for starters and just focusing on writing. I just want a fresh start. I want more minimalism in my life. I wanna pull up my roots and go spread my wings and fly. I wanna travel, I wanna see the world, I wanna write. And being the kind of YouTuber that I was always kind of moving towards, you know, you need, you need a studio, you need equipment, you need a heavy duty PC. You need all these things that just don't fit with what I'm trying to be now. And as much as I have loved making YouTube content, at least the kind that I was making, you know, like gaming stuff and whatnot, I'm not gonna be working on that kind of stuff anytime soon. And I went ahead and privated all the videos on the channel. And I know that's not gonna be a popular decision. I know that there are some, some people out there who are gonna watch this video who really like some of those videos. And, and that definitely fucked with me. I wasn't really sure if this was the right call. But at the end of the day, everybody has been so supportive of me for the past five years. Like. I'm always worried when I do like sort of an update video like this that there's going to be people in the comments like fuck you man you're the worst you you ruined this whole thing you lied you didn't follow through on that promise I can't believe you shaved your beard before you got 10,000 subscribers you know I'm always worried that those guys are going to be there and they never are and maybe this video will be the exception I don't know but I, I don't think it is I think I think people are just gonna support me as they have so far and for what it's worth, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that those videos are now private. And I did consider starting a second channel and 
just kind of leaving the old channel out there just as sort of a memorial to the to the old days but it just didn't feel like the right path to me I, as i said a little bit ago i'm i'm really looking more at like minimalism in my life and not because like i watched some youtube video about like oh how to change your life with minimalism it's just something that came from within me that's like i just want to simplify i also deactivated my facebook that i never used and deleted my snapchat that i don't like because it spams me with shit that i'm not interested in and and all this stuff my instagram is still up at the moment um and the youtube is obviously still up at the moment but i just want to just declutter my life and simplify things and focus on my passion, which is apparently writing. And you know, that's just gonna be my main goal moving forward. And this channel is still going to be up and I'm not gonna make any more promises about, you know, Friday uploads or any kind of upload schedule or anything. Um, but I'm thinking the, the focus of this channel moving forward, at least for the, the foreseeable future, is just gonna be a vlog series where I'm talking about, you know, what it's like becoming an author. And, you know, maybe with time, like let's say the first book comes out and gets published, you know, I can do like Q and A videos, you know, try and answer some questions. But the subject matter of this channel is going to be focused on my passion now, which is authoring, writing. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Man, I don't want to end the video. I There's so much like good energy, uh, good positive vibes in my chest that I want to, you know, talk about. I want to keep talking about this book and stuff, but I have to be careful because of like spoilers and like, you know, I'm going to try and get this thing published. So I have to be kind of careful about what I talk about in relation to the book until I'm sure that it's something that, you know, is okay to put out there online, which is also kind of why, part of why I wanted to private all those old videos. We live in a very weird culture right now. The world is in a strange place and, you know, people get called out and have their careers ruined, their reputations ruined for like silly nonsensical things sometimes that they said like five ten years ago and you know like i don't want that to happen you know i don't want to be you know writing book three and some asshole find some snide little comment that i made during a live stream you know five six years ago <laughs> and it just blows up online and like you know the the company publishing my books or whatever is like oh we're gonna cut ties with you because you said some dumb shit it's just I just wanted to kind of close the door on that possibility because putting stuff out there online, sadly, just isn't as safe as it used to be, or maybe it was never safe. But yeah, that's also part of the motivation. And those videos again are, you know, they're, they're just privated. They're not gone, they're still there. And maybe we'll bring them back one day, but for the time being, I just needed to simplify things in my life. Well guys, there is, so much more that I want to say, so much more that I want to share about this book and all sorts of things that I have learned so far about writing and many, many, many more that I haven't that I want to share with you guys because I think it's all so cool and so, so fascinating. But we're going to save that for next time. And I love your guys' faces so much. A little stubble, little stubble mustache heart for you. And uh, I'll talk to you all very soon.